Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everyone, checking back in on oil daily, weekly, and shorter term. So we have a lot of back and forth, green, red, green, red, green, but the volume convincing for the bulls. We have a bit of a double bottom, 46.45, 46.42, close enough to be establishing the same support level. And we need to see follow through tomorrow and a break of this lower high pattern. So the bulls tomorrow need to break 47.46, keep that 10 day moving average as support, confirm this bullish candlestick, and then we'll be looking up at the high of the previous days as resistance levels. The weekly time frame is seeing a consolidation week. The middle Bollinger Band, 46.23, the 100-week, 49.50. Likely, we stay within that range tomorrow, which means next week it will be even tighter, and a close above the 100-day is bullish, and we'll be looking at 51.67, and a close below the middle Bollinger Band is bearish, and we'll be looking down to the low $40 range. So pretty big level to be watching here on the weekly time frame heading into next week. But as of right now, the bulls are in control of the daily. Need to see that follow through to the upside. And let's look now at some of the shorter term time frames. So the hourly, we saw a bit of the, that double bottom form. We saw a doji when we touched 46.47, a bullish hammer off of 46.42, and then another doji off of 46.48, and then big time follow through for the bulls. As soon as we turn $47 into support, you can see it was acting as resistance. It became support. We back tested it four times. All four times the bulls bought the dip, closed above that level, continuation to the upside. So the bulls are now looking to break 47.70 and then 47.74. So a little bit of resistance at that level and then up to 48.31 as the next level. RSI still has room to the upside. Four hour chart on the verge of a bullish MACD cross. If we can see that follow through, you can see that flat level of support being found. And now the bulls just need to break this lower high pattern by getting over 48.31 ideally. So we'll see just how much strength the bulls have. We'll see what kind of reaction the oil market has to Yellen speaking at at 10 o'clock p or 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern. That's going to have a significant impact as well. We'll check back in tomorrow after the close. Thanks for watching.